Kính thưa giáo sư Bùi Văn Ga, Thư trưởng Giáo dục và Đào tạo. Kính thưa các quý vị đại biểu, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, uh, a warm welcome. Um, a warm welcome especially to all of our international visitors who are joining the conference from outside Vietnam. As any true Hanoian will tell you, autumn is the best time to visit Hanoi. Uh, I'm sorry it's a little bit grey today, but nevertheless it's a wonderful time to be in this wonderful dynamic city and I hope you all enjoy your time here. Uh, I'm, been, I'm delighted on behalf of the British government to be giving opening remarks today at the International Conference on New Directions in Language Assessment. The English language is now not just a subject which some students will study at school or at university. Uh, as the use of English has spread around the world, the English language has become a life skill in the 21st century, providing opportunities for better employment, for a greater range of study options internationally, for engagement with the whole global community, uh, whether you're an academic, businessman, or a diplomat even. English is the official language of ASEAN. It's the most widely used language in international trade and in science and research. And the interesting thing is that nowadays, there are many more communications in English between non-native speakers of English than there are between English, native English speakers talking to each other. So it's not a language that belongs to the UK anymore. It's a global language and it's a global skill. And we believe that the government of Vietnam understands this very clearly. And we are delighted through the British government and through the British Council to be supporting the government of Vietnam as it pursues its ambitious national foreign language project 2020. Uh, this is the moment for me to reaffirm our commitment as the British government and as the British Council to supporting the Ministry of Education and Training in its efforts to improve the teaching and learning of English throughout the country and to supporting teachers, parents and learners in their efforts. Uh, we warmly welcome the new energy and the new commitment that's been brought to this effort by Minister of Education Fung Xuân Nha and the new management of Project 2020 which he has brought into place. Uh, we stand ready to work with you and to support your goals in ensuring that in every province in Vietnam there is an effective system of English teaching and assessing for every student. The subject of the conference is, of course, assessment, and an effective testing and assessment system is essential in the teaching and learning process. A system which tests real skills in communication and does not just allow teachers to teach to the test, as we say. And that requires standardized, reliable tests that actually support and drive the teaching and learning process and build trust in the education system and build trust in the qualifications that people gain as a result. High quality reliable assessment therefore underpins all of the benefits that I was talking about earlier, the, the abilities for students to get better jobs, to further their studies around the world, to further their careers. And it can drive positive change if teachers are engaged in building real skills rather than rote learning. Um, and a good acronym to use, I think, here is A, B, C, D. Assessment builds trust, creates opportunities, and drives positive change. A, B, C, D. We're really delighted this year's New Directions Conference, which brings together global experts from four continents, and I think 16 countries in total, uh, we're delighted to see this conference taking place here in Vietnam this year. And the fact that the Ministry of Education and Project 2020 are full partners in the conference reflects the impressive commitment of the Vietnamese government, which I spoke about earlier. Uh, and in particular, we hope that the results of this conference will further inform and support uh, our friends and partners in Vietnam in developing a national language testing center 
Uh, and we, again, we're ready to support that by working together with you on the design, the formation, and the implementation of the National Language Testing Center. I'm also delighted to see representatives here from many of our European counterparts who are also working with Project 2020 on teaching languages such as German, French, and Spanish. Um, because we should be clear about this, it's not purely about English. Uh, globalism requires multilingualism, and I think there's a great opportunity for all of us to work together to support Vietnam in its aims of developing effective multilingualism. So let me just finish by coming back again to the acronym which I used earlier, ABCD. Assessment builds trust, creates opportunities and drives change. And I believe that this conference is going to support the development of assessment in Vietnam and across Asia. I'm confident that it's going to build trust between the countries represented here and between teachers, education, policy makers and students. I'm confident that it will create opportunities for all especially for young people across the region, and I'm positive that it can help to drive positive change in all of our education systems. Once again, welcome to Hanoi. Thank you very much. <laughs>